Hey guys, and welcome to my next P.O. Box video. So, um, within uh, like a day or so of filming this video, um, I think it was yesterday or the day before, um, I hit 50,000 subscribers. Um, I've talked about it on my channel many times that I don't really <laughs> know how I feel about uh, gauging uh, somebody's success on YouTube by the amount of subscribers. I know that that's kind of what we have to, to go by and, and stuff like that, but um, you know, I've talked at length about how sometimes you can get really caught up in it and uh, wonder, you know, why you're not growing as fast as other people and there's a lot of comparing and I, I don't really like to point it out too much because I don't want anybody else to feel bad about their chance. It's a whole thing. But uh, I wanted to just say thank you briefly to just kind of, you know, um, I guess it is a point where I can, you know, reflect and... Um, think about all of the work I've done on my channel and be very grateful for everything that I have on this platform um, and be very grateful to you guys for supporting me. So just wanted to say that quick. I don't know um, how long ago it will be once I actually uh, post uh, this video because I have no idea when I'm going to edit it. So maybe it was a week ago, maybe it was two weeks ago, I have no idea. But uh, I just wanted to, to, to say thank you for that. Um, and speaking of feeling uh, insanely grateful, uh, it, it's a P.O. Box video. I haven't done this oh, in a long, long time. Um, I think for a while I was waiting to get more packages and now, and then it just, and then I didn't have time and it, it just kept being a thing. So without further ado, let's get into it because I have a few packages to get into uh, today. So the first thing uh, that I wanted, I actually did see it obviously when I picked it up or whatever because it's a postcard and it's a uh, welcome to North Carolina postcard. Can you see? Sort of. My camera's not really focusing on it, but oh me, I know, there it is. Um, and it says uh, on the back, it says one of the best things about North Carolina is that Seska says lives there. <laughs> but those of you are curious, if you don't know or if you haven't followed me for a while, I am from New York and I consider myself as a New Yorker as a lot of New Yorkers do even after they leave or whatever. Uh, but I've moved around a lot um, and now I live in North Carolina, that, if you're wondering. Um, and <laughs> Uh, I was thinking about you during my recent visit, um, Sherilyn. So thank you for the postcard. It's very, very sweet. And it's just, I just one of the best things about North Carolina, Seska says lives there. Oh, I just really touched my heart. So I did see that when I got that, but, uh, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, the next is uh, a letter, I believe. Um, this is from David. It says, Dear Seska says, um, okay, so this wasn't that long ago, but it was a little bit before I got to all of the missing episodes of Doctor Who or the, you know, where it started getting, there were a lot of missing. Um, says you have successfully got through series one of Doctor Who and there was only uh, one story that was missing. Um, uh, back in those days, Doctor Who took up a lot of the crew and actors' time, so that is why some of the characters are missing or incapacitated or just uh, in pre-filmed inserts uh, for some of the stories. Um, so this is basically a guide that was written out about uh, what episodes are missing, what aren't missing, all, all sorts of stuff like that, and then we have um, kind of on the back here um, that goes all the way up to season six, which I believe is into the, the second Doctor's time of what exists and, and, and everything like that. So that's actually quite helpful. Can I actually 
show that. Yeah. So a lot of people have asked me how I'm, you know, going to do everything with the second Doctor stories and those missing and what's animate or what it is. <laughs> it's a lot. And just so you guys know, and I've mentioned this various times, I, I don't know. I will get to it next year, 2020, because um, that's when I'm going to get to the second Doctor. I have not looked at the schedule. I have not planned out the schedule. I don't know how it's going to work. Um, I am just focusing on finishing off this year and making all of that really great. Um, and then I will I will get into that. Um, but thank you so much, David, for um, sending this and letting uh, me know about, I like when things are nice and written out in lists that I can easily look at. Um, and that's gonna help me uh, plan out my schedule. Uh, for next year. So thank you very much. Okay, let's get into a package. Let's see. I think I can actually rip it open. <laughs> it is in a pretty, I love, I love these bags. These really cute bags from Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, really enjoying your classic who reactions. So I thought I'd send you this. These books make a great resource to dip in and out of. Take care not to spoil yourself, though, from Andy. Okay. Let's see what it is. It is a book about time, the unauthorized guide to Doctor Who, seasons one to three. Oh, Ooh, shiny. Ooh, that's really cool. Honestly, um... I have a couple of things, and this is going to be added to the list, and I know that I don't, um, <laughs> I know that I don't read all that often, but I've been spending some time uh, doing some reading of the books that, that uh, you guys have gotten me and stuff uh, just in the evenings a little bit to kind of clear my head, um, and it's actually been quite... Um, lovely to, to kind of take my mind away from, you know, life shit and all of that. So, um, and this, I guess it goes through each of the, it says the, the Sensorites and the Crusade, the Time Meddler. I won't go too far into it, but, um, I was thinking about, um, going into some of the stuff about the first Doctor and stuff that you guys have gotten me once I've finished the end of that era and everything. So this is perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I really love these um, these gifts and uh, I, I actually think that I'm going to make good use of this. So thank you so much. Okay, I have another little... Um, I'll hide the email address that was um, written on the top. But it says, never be cruel, never be cowardly, and never ever eat pears. Uh, laugh hard, run fast, be kind. And it's got a little picture of a TARDIS, a little drawing. I don't know if you can see. But anyway, um, I just, I was covering up the, the email just in case I didn't want to. So let's open. You guys maybe don't really know because I cut it all the time, but I'm really bad at opening envelopes. <laughs> Just so you know. Uh, Dear Seska, I've been enjoying your reaction videos, especially Doctor Who. I confess that I put them on um, when my tear ducts need a good flushing. <laughs> Um, I'm amazed at, I'm amazed at how good New Who is. It's so much, um, of a piece with, uh, the Tom Baker episodes I remember from childhood on PBS. Recently, I sorted through my change jar and found some unusual ones. Not really worth anything, but they have traveled in space and time. Oh, I hope you like them. Tokens, literally, of my appreciation um, of your wonderful YouTube videos. LZ, I said that weird, LZ, <laughs> Geronimo, and for God's sake, Gallery, Gallifrey stands. 
um, Allen. Uh, so yeah, there are a couple of, oh yeah, they are actually really, really cool. Um, literal tokens, if you can see that. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's a really cute idea, especially like in relation to time and space and traveling and, and all of that. Thank you so much. That is very, very sweet. Okay, moving on to the next one. I don't want to show any <laughs> um, addresses or anything. Okay. Oh my goodness. Whatever it is, it has dinosaur paper, so you know I'm going to love it. <laughs> There's a uh, card and it says, says, says on it. And then there's, um, I think it's, it's, it's Susan and the doctor here because this one says scream. So, you know, it's Susan, um, grandfather. And then the little doctor one says, get back to the ship child. <laughs> Thank you. It is a TARDIS card. So cute. So, so cute. Um, absolutely loving your classic Who reactions. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you so, so, so much. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. Dinosaur. I don't want to break the dinosaur paper. You know what I mean? Oh, I love dinosaurs so much. I love them when you guys do like little touches like that, that like show that you guys know my likes and dislikes with stuff like dinosaur paper. On one of your recent Q and A, since you started watching Classic Who, you mentioned that you thought the Salem witch trial trials would be a good setting for a pure historical st story. Well, here you go, the original TARDIS team at Salem. I wasn't sure if you'd prefer to read it yourself or if it was more convenient to have an audio version you could listen to while you do other things, so I got you both. Oh, that's so sweet. I hope you enjoy it. I remember liking it very much when the original edition of the book came out when I was 14, but have to admit, I haven't read it since then. My very best wishes, a fan somewhere in England. So, okay. I'm gonna show, oh, this is, that's, so, this is so sweet. So sweet. <laughs> be kind, the dinosaur paper, be kind. Let's, okay. So this is the book version. It is uh, The Witch Hunters, Steve Leons. Am I saying that right? The History Collection, right here. That's cool. Um, it's, it says Barbara and Ian. That's all I care about. So I can just I want Barbara and Ian back in my life. Um, uh, it's with Susan. Um, and here's the audio version, which is great, by the way, because sometimes I take some like really long like road trips and stuff like that. And I like the audio versions. I have a bit of Big Finish. Now, I haven't delved too much or in, like into Big Finish yet, but you guys have sent me that because I'm still wondering, like, do I review them? How do I do that? Um, I don't really think I can do like reactions to it, though I'm sure there's going to be people here that are gonna be like, yes, you can and do it. Cause there's people that want me to react to every single thing on the planet. Um, but I just don't know if I would have time and you know, there's a lot. Um, but I'm actually, this, this is really great because um, I, whenever I'm driving a lot, uh, it, it's actually quite helpful. So, um, Thank you so much. Uh, that's really, really sweet. Thank you. Okay, so the next is kind of a very colorful package. And again, very Doctor Who oriented because we have um, all sorts of Doctor Who. I'm not showing anything other than my P.O. box, right? I don't think so. Um, there's TARDISes here. 
and then there's a, a Cyberman and a Weeping Angel and the Tenth Doctor and a Dalek and a Slitheen. And you guys know how I love the Slitheen. Um, there's a sticker that says on the back, trust the plastic with Rory. You see him? Maybe. Um, my, I feel like my camera is not focusing today. Sorry. Um, and a lot of Eleven, which, you know, I always appreciate some some Tenth Doctor, the the Exterminate, uh, Girl in the Fireplace is down here. Um, yeah. <laughs> the Jadoon. The Jadoon. I love the Jadoon. Let's see if you can see. So. All right. Oh, there's another um, letter inside. Oh my God, with Mickey. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm deceased. Oh, I know that, okay, so this is uh, Bethany, who, if you want to check um, her out, she does all sorts of um, art, and she sent me something bo before, a, a really pretty um, painting of the, the uh, or a uh, picture of the um, Sonic, oh my God. Sonic lipstick. It was a, a, a Sonic screwdriver, but this is the Sonic lipstick. Never leave home without it. Oh, that's so amazing. That's so amazing. And these are, I, you know, these are like my favorite colors. You know, if you guys couldn't tell, I like red and warm colors. <laughs> um, Thank you. Okay, um, I feel like I should read this before I, I should have, I don't know. I don't know what I should have done. There, this is like stamped like an old, like with a with a rose. And then there's, um, which I would assume is intentional, like rose, maybe. Um, and we've got a Santarin, we've got, oh my God, this is amazing. And then obviously there's Mickey up here with a Cyberman and some Oud. You see Mickey? There's Mickey. So let's open this up. Dear Saska says, Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Thank you so, 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 so much for reading out my last fan mail letter to you on your YouTube P.O. Box video. I was so surprised when I saw your video on my subscription list. I got very excited and squealed a bit. I was so excited. I'm so glad that um, all the stickers and bits and bobs I sent you, I that you liked all the stickers and bits and bobs that I sent you. I can't believe you love my artwork as well. Um, so here were two geeky pieces to add to your collection. Um, I have a brand new uh, business card, so now I hope you like that too. I would be honored to create a pet portrait for you too. Uh, get in touch with me about it. I'm glad you like the playing cards. Here are a few more to add to your collection. So this is the business card. Bethany's art right here you can see um, and it says Joy Smith art uh, on Instagram and then Time Lord Girl 98 on Facebook so if you guys want to follow her um, and see her artwork and all of that it's all really cool I'm keeping it these in in the plastic uh, at the moment to just um, protect them until I find, um, back in my kind of, uh, office area where I do all my editing, uh, I would, I want to start, uh, well, I kind of have it started, but I want to kind of, uh, complete a, a wall of all of the, the kind of like drawings and stuff that you guys have sent me over the years. And I really, really appreciate it. So thank you so, so much. Um, and so the other uh, kind of playing cards that uh, she got for me, let's see what's in here. And then I will read the rest of the note, I believe. So these guys, there's Clara, and then there's 11 right there. Really cool. Lovely, lovely, lovely picture of honey my honey um this was obviously uh from a planner of some kind because <laughs> the back is a bunch of dates <laughs> um 
and then there's some playing cards with oh here's the the other business card which is great we've got some other playing cards that that I can add to the collection of the ones that she got for me before hold on there's Sally Martha the Jadoon Trooper, and this is a bit holographic. I don't know if you can tell, but the Dalek Blaster. Okay, let me show you, because I just fixed the, the focus on my camera. I realized that I had it turned off for a time. So let me show you guys the artwork again. shine there you go okay um and i also got in here a little postcard with tardis um i hope this letter finds you well and you read it out in your next p.o box fingers crossed thank you so so much for reading my uh letter and liking my work um i love you you're so awesome keep reacting to videos um love bethany i still want that autograph yes i will i will i will get that <laughs> um <laughs> i can you're definitely gonna get my first autograph because i haven't it's just ridiculous that anybody would want that um, so the rest of the letter says, I also wanted to say I've been going through a tough time at the moment and it's been quite hard for me. Um, I won't bore you with the details, but I've lost my job basically and it's kind of shattered my life. But your brand new Torchwood reactions keep me going. Uh, they make me smile as I've been wanting to watch you react to Torchwood for a very long time. I've been trying to expand my artwork out to people. So if you know anyone who... Um, is looking for art, please mention my stuff to them so they can have a look at my artwork. That would be wonderful. Hey, guys, check out her artwork. Uh, listen, Christmas is coming up or the holiday season Just for whatever. People need to get gifts. Just saying. Check it out. Um, I did notice a lot of comments of people trying to find me on YouTube, um, but couldn't. I am on YouTube. I am Bethany P. I have 19 subscribers, and my profile pic is of a weeping angel. Um, so it's Bethany, B-E-T-H-A-N-Y, P. Letter P. Um, so I hope people can find me. Fingers crossed. Thank you to those that do. Also, I hope you like the video <laughs> of me chopping my hair off for charity. Since then, I have done a charity climb up Mount uh, Snowden for March with my cousin, dad, and auntie. We raised over a thousand for cancer research. That's really cool. Um, it was <laughs> tiring, but we succeeded. I'm trying to make a video for YouTube about our journey up and stuff. You never know, it might be uploaded before you receive this letter. Probably, because I took a really long time to get to this freaking video, so I apologize for that. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Um, you're also about to be overloaded with TV options I really want you to react to, <laughs> because it's a shame you couldn't react to uh, Merlin. So there, so there's a list right here. Years and years, Gentleman Jack, Grace Point, Ghosts, Killing Eve, Red Dwarf, Orville, The A Word, Call the Midwife, The Big Bang Theory, Gavin and Stacy, um, and Cheat. Is it Cheat? Um, please at least consider these. They're brilliant. Well, that's really sweet. I'm, I'm really glad that you're liking my Torchwood reactions. I'm really liking Torchwood. So hopefully you're continuing to really like them um, as, I've, as I've gotten further into it. Uh, I love that you're doing stuff for charity um, and I hope that um, guys uh, check her out. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I, I <laughs> my schedule's booked until the end of the year. I don't know, I have to be honest about that. But uh, we're gonna see what's gonna happen next year when it comes to, I have a few that are on my like, they're like on the, on the waiting list, basically. There's a few shows that are kind of on my, my waiting list and uh, that I know that some of you have, have been very patient and waiting for. I do apologize that it takes me a while, but there's there's a lot of shows. There's a lot of shows and I'm only one person. So, but uh, I, I hope that you're excited for, for maybe some of the stuff I'll be, I'll be reacting to. Um, and thank you, thank you for all of this. Okay, next package. Let's see. There is a note. You know, I always, I always look for the note. <laughs> it, it says note. <laughs> oh. Hi Jess, hope you are well. When I first stumbled across your reaction to the Daleks. Back in 2017, I really enjoyed it. I first watched Doctor Who properly back in 1999 and remained a great fan of the classic series. Uh, when the new series rolled around, I also got heavily invested in the Matt Smith era. Of course, of course. Um, and the Capaldi era that followed, of course. <laughs> um, what a surprise then that almost the next thing was your reaction to the day of the Doctor and I discovered you felt the exact same way. I kept up with your reactions to Capaldi's stories and your and our wonderful Jody, but I couldn't wait for you to start going through Classic Who. I was kind of amazed how you warmed to I, Ian and Barbara so quickly. My babies. Um, once this happened, I knew I had to get you uh, this big finish audio. Oh. Oh. Um, it's from a series called The Companion Chronicles. That's really cool. Um, Featuring stories from the Companions' perspective, this was done mainly with the earlier Companions as the actors who played the Doctors, um, their Doctors had sadly passed away. This one is told by William Russell, and you get the treat of hearing his impression of the first Doctor. Seriously thought there's some quality Ian and Barbara content there. Ah, oh, you know how to warm my heart. Um, it also features Vicky, which is why it took this long to get it to you. The second thing came when you said this, uh, this one thing at the end of one of your recent reactions, this image popped into my head and I just had to draw it for you. Enjoy. I did have some extra things I wanted to, to say as a PS, but I probably rambled on long enough. Uh, they can wait for another time. Uh, keep watching and enjoying Chris. So this is the, oh, the glare. There we go. Um, the Rocket Men. That's kind of cool. Oh, and it's all about Ian. And I'm gonna apologize, I didn't do this, but the people at the post office for some reason kind of smushed the package, show your drawings a little. Don't worry, I'm gonna flatten it out and it's all gonna be okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix it. But this is absolutely, the best thing. So it is a picture <laughs> of Ian fighting a giant cat. <laughs> that uh, was from uh, Planet of the Giants where I was really, really excited about the possibility of Ian going head to head with a giant cat because they, they obviously shrunk in that episode and I thought that he was gonna fight it. Um, and then he, you know, and it, it didn't really work out, but that is amazing. I love it. Thank you so, so much. That's so amazing. Here is the next package. Let's see. Oh my goodness. There is no note or anything, but it is Game of Thrones Oreos. <laughs> I really don't think, let's see, does it say anywhere on the, nope. Somebody just said to, I mean, thank you. Now I have something to snack on tonight. <laughs> oh my goodness, for the throne. 
That's amazing. Thank you so much. Little Oreos. Oh, there's four designs on the Oreos. Are they house sigils or? Oh no, that's that's the Night King. What is that? Oh, Lannister. Stark and I would assume Targaryen. Yes. That's amazing. That is so amazing. And they're still good, even though it took me a while to open them. They still got to check the date. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you for whoever who sent who sent it. Thank you. Okay, next package is right here. Let's see what it is. I like always like reach in and I'm like, where's the note? Where's the note? Okay, here's the note. Hi Jess. Firstly, huge congrats on surviving the web planet um, with your sanity intact. Thank you. <laughs> Secondly, I'm thoroughly enjoying your Classic Who reactions, and I'm glad you've appreciated most of the stories you've seen so far. Trust me, you have some fabulous stories ahead of you. I believe it. Um, I'm sending you a few things. Um, okay. Uh, firstly, the 50th anniversary comic strip. You may be interested to see who is on the front cover. Okay. I think that's this it feels like a comic ah! is that this oh my god oh my god oh my god it's perfect it's perfect it's it's <laughs> and that hair is undeniable that's barbara <laughs> and ian with a sword with a sword what I'm gonna cry. Oh my goodness. I don't wanna like actually read it. I have to. Oh my God, so cool. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I can't even tell you how excited I am with the, oh my God, with 11, with honey. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming. It's a little dramatic, but thank you so, so much. Um, and then it says, secondly, um, I'm sending you some of the classic Who missing TV soundtracks with narration uh, from the cast members. Oh, I found them to be pretty good and have used them alongside some of the telesnaps um, to follow a story. It's absolutely, absolutely up to you, but... Um, if I could, please suggest maybe see if narrated sounds, um, soundtracks are something you could work with initially. Listening to an episode you've already seen, like the Crusades or, yeah, so instead of reacting to it. Yeah, so obviously there's been like so many, there's so many ways that I can go about doing some of these like missing stories and stuff, but this is really cool. Hold on, let me see. It says the Lost TV Episodes Collection 1. Right there. Um, Marco Polo, Reign of Terror, Crusade, Galaxy 4, and The Myth Makers. Um, yeah, I'm, I actually uh, think that I, I might actually go through this now. Because I do know the these stories, except I actually haven't done Marco Polo yet. So, so... You can do that. And then what's the collection to Dalek's Master Plan? Um, uh, the Massacre, uh, The Celestial Toymaker, The Savages, um, Doctor Who, The Lost Episodes. Cool. So I had both of them right here. Um, I actually think that this might be really cool. I'm very interested to, to listen and, and see you know, um, I think something that's kind of hard for people to understand why it takes me a little bit of time to realize how I want to, you know, uh, do a classic who, um, whether it's reconstructions or animations or narrations or reading summaries or whatever. I think that there's a lot um, of people that, that maybe... I maybe just don't think about the fact that like I don't know if I like certain avenues until I try them and in order to figure out if I like it I have to you know like watch it fully and so it and I can't do that like it's a reaction it has to be my first 
impression of it so yeah but uh thank you so so much i i'm actually probably going to listen to these and and see how they are and um and thank you so much for for this this is amazing thank you okay so there's a little letter oh it's a very pretty inside very pink oh it's like velvety oh my god it says it says yes queen <laughs> oh that is that is wonderful wonderful long may you reign that's what the inside says um i saw this card and thought of you my sister and i were talking about the phrase yes queen a few days ago and felt that not everyone can say it um i use it right but <laughs> um oh but not like you can perfectly um and i also thought you are the queen of YouTube reactors. Thank you. Especially Doctor Who. That's very sweet. Why be a princess when you can be a queen? You know what I mean? <laughs> Just kidding. And deserve um, the kudos yourself. You are the best. Be well. That is so sweet. I love this card. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. That's, that's amazing. Thank you. Okay, we have another... copy that's so amazing okay <laughs> so the of what i've been reading for classic who um it says dear seska says but i i did get this message um already but it says how are you i hope you're well i'm writing regarding your classic who youtube reactions i'm very much enjoying from what you have said in your videos you are doing your own research into classic Doctor Who instead of having someone else do it for me. The, the means you may encounter spoilers. I listen. I'm very good at what I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is this is basically what was sent to me um, that I've been reading, which is really uh, nice. If you find this sort of thing useful, then I am glad. But do not feel um, bad if you do not want to use it. I did use it. Um, but I'll show you guys what I was uh, uh, reading and, and everything. It was kind of like this. It, a lot was taken from Wiki and then like some things were kind of written um, out. But just to give you an idea, it's kind of there's like a summary and then pictures that I could kind of follow along, which was really, really nice. Um, and so that's Galaxy 4. And so, you know, I haven't done this in a while. The... So let me see if I can get to, I won't go, I won't go past the Daleks master plan here. So there's um, some like pictures there, Daleks master plan and everything like that, which is, is really, really cool. So this is the hard copy of it. Thank you. That's very, very amazing. Um, and yeah, so I'm obviously not completely done with the, um, first doctor stories just yet but now i have a hard copy of it thank you so much that's amazing honestly this took so much work and um it just means a lot that that uh you would put the effort towards helping me out in my journey for classic who you guys are really um really wonderful when it comes to stuff like that but i really really do appreciate this so so much Thank you. Okay, my last package is kind of the, 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 the big box kind of package. Okay, so this says to Jessica. Dear Jessica, I'm not sure if you will remember me, but I used to comment on your channel as River Winding. I do, I do remember. Um, you gave very long and, and very thoughtful comments. I, I always appreciated that. Not to worry if you don't. Um, you were you were old school. You were you were <laughs> uh, a viewer of my channel before many people. It's just that I wanted to send you some gifts um, that I've had for well over a year now. I should have sent them before. I'm sorry about that. That's very sweet. 
Okay, um, for the next little bit, I wanted to uh, kind of just uh, keep it to myself. Um, I don't really know if um, I should be reading this out loud or not, but it seems a bit personal, very uh, personal to me and about, um, you know, uh, his beliefs and everything like that. So I wanted to kind of keep that, you know, personal, if, you know, if you get what I mean. Um, before I go, I want you to know that getting to share Doctor Who, The Americans, and the incredible Doctor Who December was truly memorable. Having that interaction with you and your channel was an experience I'll never ever forget. It was a special time I'll never get again. Thank you so much for all the effort and hard work you always put into everything you do. I hope you know how much you have come to mean to people. You are appreciated by so many. Never forget that. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. There was a smaller, uh, more personal gift that was labeled personal gift, so I, again, opened that off camera. What is... Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Hold on. Oh, wow. Okay. This is... Rivers, Sonic, get out of here. Oh my God, I'm hoping I have to open it right now. I feel like whenever I get a Sonic, I have to open it. <laughs> this is now my fourth Sonic. I know, I'm so fancy now. So crazy. Oh, this is, this is actually really, really cool. Okay, how do, how do you work? Okay, here it is. See it? Ooh. Ooh. And uh, yeah, so this changes and then you click it and it can be blue or red. Ooh. That's so cool. Oh my God. I have a lot of Sonics now. I'm so excited. <laughs> At some point, maybe I'll be able to have like a different Sonic for every Doctor Who reaction. I'll get there someday. Thank you so, so much. And here's the second gift. And bubble wrap. I know that Doctor Who fans are, but I still love bubble wrap so much. <laughs> so much. <laughs> They're like, no, don't. But I love it. Oh my god. Literally, you can just buy me bubble wrap. One time, did I tell you guys this before? I think I pro probably talked about it in Kerblam, but one time my brother, like, for Christmas, he actually just wrapped me bubble wrap. <laughs> he got me other things too, but <laughs> that was one of my gifts. <laughs> oh man. It's a good shape. <gasps> oh my god. Sorry. Oh my god. Oh, this is, that's, this is special. Oh. Oh my God, guys. It's the Americans. Philip and Elizabeth, or Matthew and Carrie. <laughs> that makes me really, thank you. That's very sweet. Um. One of my favorite shows of all time. I absolutely adore it. And um, sorry for the dramatic response. It's just, I don't, I, I never thought I would expect to get something that has to do with uh, the Americans, which is, I think still one of the most underrated shows. And um, I do remember, um, you know, uh, River Winding being the, the YouTube channel. Um, but you, you sending, or you sending me such a wonderful, thoughtful comments. And it was such a show that you could really deep dive into and really get in depth with. And I am just, you know, so sad, <laughs> you know, that it is over. Um, I just, I'm, I'm just really surprised. One, that you found something that you could send to me. Um, and 
I, you know, thank you so much. That is really, that's, that's precious. Um, everything guys, um, I just wanted to say, so that was the, that was the last little bit. So, so thank you so much. Um, uh, everything. I just appreciate everything that you guys take the time to send to me, draw for me. Um, even if it's, you know, a card or a letter, um, just so many thoughtful gifts and it means so much to me that you guys have such, uh, you know, um, generosity. Um, and I, you know, I, I never really think that I deserve it or anything, but I, I highly appreciate it. I am grateful for all of you. I am just so lucky to have my channel, I'm gonna get emotional, but to have my channel and have all of you guys be so supportive and so thoughtful and beautiful souls, really. I mean, I just, I, you know, I love, I love the community that I've been able to kind of build up on my channel. It feels, you know, at least to me, it feels like a family. And I hope sometimes when you're watching uh, my videos, you guys can feel like family as well. It, it really just, it blows me away. I'm feeling very, uh, very grateful lately for everything. So <laughs> I'm going to stop. <laughs> but thank you so much for everything. I'm very overwhelmed. Um, thank you. I will see you next time. Bye.